Welcome to this uh, Windows and computer channel and this is another tips and tricks video for anybody that's got that new computer. Maybe you got a new computer at the ho in the holiday season, at Christmas or so on. Maybe you just bought a new PC. This video is of course good for any time of year uh, when you buy that new computer. So we have a few tips already posted including clean installing and fresh start and you know removing all the crap and the antiviruses that might be within uh, replacing, you know, uh, the the Windows security, which is good enough for most people. Today, this video is about, yeah. So now I set up, but you know, my friends tell me to install CCleaner because it's gonna make sure that my PC is always right and it fixes the registry. And um, uh, I've got oh this other RAM optimizer software. Apparently, we gotta do that because. Uh, we need to optimize RAM and we need to have all of these uh, utilities because that's how Windows is going to work. Well, the answer to this, the exact answer to this is no. You don't need any of that, those crapware. I'm sorry. I know that a lot of you are using CCleaner. Love it and say that it you know, fixes things. I'm sorry. These things do nothing. And I still stand upon that. It's useless to have CCleaner. Useless to have a RAM optimizer. Useless to have any software that pretends it will fix all the errors and problems of Windows. Because they do very little. Where they act and what they touch has little impact, if no impact at all, on Windows itself. And it is not necessarily to have those. You know, that's an industry right there. It's companies trying to have you get these software because they make money out of having that. And you know, CCleaner will get you into getting that pro version that you're gonna pay for. Or just visiting their websites. They have ads, they have stuff, they're making money. So they want you to go there because they want to have you install it. And you know, there is really nothing much that he, that they actually do. One side note, you might be using one of those software because there's a little something that you actually do personally that you find that software does well. But in general, don't download anything. Remember that every software you download, you actually are participating in having your Windows getting a little more bloated and going a little slower. Why? Because every time you install new software, you actually... Um, you know, make the registry bigger and have more files on hard drive and so on. There's so many things that people think that are absolutely um, untrue. Uh, one of them, you know, oh, well, I want to remove the temporary files because it slows down my PC. It does not. The temporary files are not being used or touched. They're just there in your hard drive. All they do is, you know, uh, take space. And, and you already have everything needed in Windows to remove the temp files and stuff and have some cleanup of the basic stuff. So, you know, the real, real way to help yourself in Windows is to just be careful as to not install everything you see. And don't, you know, install and uninstall software every week because that is, of course, going to make your Windows go slower over time. And Windows itself, as you're using it, will slow down as time goes by. Once in a while, you know, I'll typically often say once a year, um, a clean install to get back that speed is the best thing you can do. Much more than whatever CCleaner or any uh, software will do, uh, for sure. Because uh, these software are pretty much useless for the most part. And RAM optimizers are totally unneeded in Windows 10. Windows 10 has a new way of managing memory that is very efficient. I still get people saying, oh my God, you know, Windows 10 takes, you know, 75% of my RAM memory. Yeah, that's fine. That's what you want. That is what you want. It actually will run faster because it's using RAM, because it's optimizing everything so that it does. It is, you know, that there's always these... Uh, people that still think like we're in 1998 with, you know, Windows 95 or something. And, um, you know, things have changed. And, of course, um, don't install any 
utilities that pretend it's going to clean or fix your computer as time goes by. These are useless. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.